All right, guys, welcome to Turf and Dirt Sports Cards. We are at 702 Kentucky Street in Bellingham, Washington. It is November 1, 2020. Today is day one of Daylight Savings Day, so we know it's going to start to get dark here in about, probably about a half an hour or so. Um, we did the video earlier for Instagram. We're now doing it for YouTube, Facebook, and every other platform out there remaining. But this is going to be the walkthrough of Turf and Dirt Sports Cards. We've had a lot of changes occur over the last two weeks. The shop has changed in two weeks more than it has in the previous year. So we thought it important to show you guys what it looks like. So if you look up, here is the sign. We're actually going to be adding to it. We're going to add a section to that that's going to contain phone numbers, social media information and all of that. Um, that's on the list as well as many other things um, to get done. So we are a diamond dealer with upper deck. And if you don't know what that means is being a diamond dealer, you're allowed to get upper deck releases the minute they release. Shops that are no longer or not upper deck diamond dealers, they have to wait six months before they're eligible to buy upper deck product. As we all know, when you wait six months for a release, it is pretty old after that it becomes irrelevant so we knew being a diamond dealer was going to be vitally important going forward when we started the business a year ago so let's go and come on in and see what it looks like so when you walk into turf and dirt the one thing you're going to notice right away is nba jam this machine is free to use no quarters all of that. This was an installation into the shop, what, about a month ago? Um, it was at Costco. Stacy saw it. We talked about it, decided it'd be a good idea, bought it. Here it is. So it's a nice little feature um, here in the shop. Um, if you look up, so our walls contain 75% memorabilia for sale. The other 25% is just decoration. So if you do not see a price tag near an item, that means it is not for sale. But as y'all know, you have to have decor, you know, to be interesting. So um, in the front of the shop, when you come in, you will notice Yoda Jean. Right now, Yoda Jean is holding candy. We got Yoda Jean in a mask right there, but... Gotta make sure Yoda jeans protected from COVID. And when we get closer to Thanksgiving and we start to decorate for the Christmas season, Yoda jean is gonna transform from, you know, Halloween-ish candy to maybe candy canes, maybe some garland lights, something festive and fun. Cause we're all about being festive and fun. Um, up in the front, you're going to see just miscellaneous items that we sell. Um, everything from, we got cleaned out of this, but we do have more coming, right? Mm -hmm. We have bubble mailers that we do sell um, to the public, as well as many that we use. But we have our junk wax era stuff is all here. Boxes are up front. We try to get a good cross section of what we have in the back up front. Um, but it's an extremely popular type of card to collect today. So it's very, I mean, our stock is dwindling. Um, once I reload this tonight, we're going to be only about, I mean, literally almost just under the common area. I mean, it's pretty crazy on how popular the junk wax stuff is. Um, this is where we house it. Here is miscellaneous bobbleheads. Um, some are from stadium giveaways. Some are, you know, just ones that were offered, um, you know, like fan, you're not fan duel, but fanatics or wherever you could buy bobbleheads. Some of these are from that. Um, and then various, like we have World Series programs, the Legend Sports memorabilia magazines from back in the day. And then as you pan across, if you guys have been familiar with the shop in the past, our TV was always sitting here and that cut off about a quarter of this eight foot case that was pretty, you couldn't see much in it. Um, so we had the TV mounted. 
We added this section here with the shelving, helmet, figurines. These are not for sale. This is just to mark basically our Star Wars section in the shop. But getting the TV up and mounted allowed us to free up the remaining quarter of the case. And now we're utilizing the case and everything can be seen very easily. So one of the things you're going to see, you, you know, when you first walk into the shop, as you open the door, you'll notice NBA Jam. You'll see Yoda Jean, but you'll also see our breaking table here. This is the hub of Turf and Dirt. When people come in to visit us, this is where they migrate to. We have four chairs, sorting trays, various breaking mats, hand sanitizer, soft sleeves. We want to take care of people's cards, take care of their health when they're in here. So when they go to rip their packs or their boxes, we always provide them sleeves to be able to use um, at no charge. Yes, they are free. Um, and that's kind of what we do. I've had people tell me that this was a mistake. You know, this table is creating, causing people to loiter, but this has actually been the best business decision we could make. And not for the fact that it generates money, but for the fact that it generates fellowship amongst other collectors. And as we know, collecting, you know, as important acquiring product is also Passing on the lore of sports cards is just as important, and this is the kind of thing that helps do that. So um, I'm super proud of that we you know, were able to get this in here and figure out the shop to make it work. So this case here, on all my showcases, you will see cards in it with prices, and then you will see white boxes on top that have various uh, cards in it. You have to look to kind of distinguish what it is. We have basketball, hockey, Star Wars, and then miscellaneous, which would be racing, garbage pail kids, you name it. Um, in this eight foot case, I have miscellaneous, but most of it is Star Wars. I have uh, a quarter. So a quarter of it is miscellaneous. A quarter of it is hockey. And then the other half is basketball. Basketball is the toughest sport for us to keep cards, decent cards in stock. Once we seem to post a good Ja Morant or a good Zion, somebody on the website buys it up and away it goes. So those are some of the tougher ones to keep good titles or good you know, players in. Um, the back wall, as you pass the dark cloth that the TV is lined with. This is where we keep all of like eight by tens, posters, you know, various items for sale. They are marked with the price tag if they're available for sale. Um, we have our medicine cabinet that I converted to a baseball, auto, our, all of our autographed baseball, hockey puck kind of thing. I try to label the outside so when you're standing here, you can read it and kind of see who it is. And then of course we have the football case. Now inside of this, half of it is Seattle Seahawks and the other half is the other football. Um, on top of this, you're gonna find football singles, NFL pocket helmets, and our Seattle Seahawks white box box. White boxes in turf and dirt are typically from 25 cents up to $4. Everything that is $5 and up is in a top loader team bag and is priced to go onto the website. Up above, when you pass the football case, you will see kind of miscellaneous items for sale, um, autographs, pictures, memorabilia. Um, you'll see lighting, strip lighting up. We just installed all of that. That's kind of the reason my back is a little wrecked because I did it all myself and it's a lot of like stretching and, and doing the thing, but I'm, I'm glad we were able to get it done because this area was extremely dark at night. And by putting this stuff in, now it's gonna get dark early, lights up this area really well. We just installed a second TV to Turf and Dirt. So this one currently is playing our podcast, which is Cards Corner. You can view it on YouTube, as well as going to Spotify, Apple, you know, Anchor, wherever you go to listen to your favorite podcasts, 
you can find us, Cards Corner. Cards with the K, Corners with the K. And this is here. So as you see, jerseys and everything. But here we have our baseball case. This is going to contain... Um, well, those cards got a little cattywampus. This is going to contain all of our baseball singles for sale that are non-Seattle Mariners. And our white boxes on top. I'm going to go behind and straighten those. So, this is where, well, our single card magic happens, right? Um, we try to change these cases as often as we can, but, you know, I don't know anybody that would have deep enough inventory to be able to change them out completely on a weekly basis or whatever, but we do our best with what we can. And then, of course, right here is eight-foot case dedicated to the Seattle Mariners. I'm a huge Seattle Mariner fan. This is, I knew I wanted to do, and I had to be the biggest case in the shop because um, my Mariner stuff is fairly deep. And then, of course, Mariner white boxes on the top, which does include recently acquired custom Ken Griffey Jr. screw downs, $2.50 a piece. You can get it in white or get it in teal. And if you have your favorite Mariner or your favorite Ken Griffey Jr. card, you put it in there, it actually looks pretty sharp. We had a gentleman that used to own a card shop up north and he had a, a bunch of these, a couple cases worth. And so we acquired them to offer to our collecting community. The shelves that you're seeing here with the mini helmets and the Funkos, that is new shelving just recently installed. Um, if you guys are not familiar with it, we received a direct account with TriStar. TriStar Productions is a company that specializes in memorabilia. They do a lot of jerseys, helmets for both. Wow, that was like interactive. Oh, that's not good for the back. They do a lot of jerseys. They do a lot of jerseys, helmets, baseball, stuff like that. So we ended up getting a couple cases of mini helmets in. We did open them all because we actually wanted the shop decor. Um, we are going to post them to the website for sale, but they are housed here on the shelves. We also have a bunch of Funkos. We are not a Funko based shop, but Funkos are a little interesting. So we occasionally will order some and get a trickle of them in. Um, and then of course the lifeblood, those that even don't buy from you card wise, everybody tends to migrate towards and that's your supplies. We have everything from regular top loaders, premium top loaders, 55 points, 75 point rookies, 75 point regulars, a hundred point, 130 point, 180 point, 260 point, 360 point. Those are the sizes of top loaders that we do stock. We also carry vintage top loaders, but they are not kept out here. They are in the back and they're available by request. But all of our one touches, um, vertical booklet, one touches, card stands, acrylic boxes, mini helmet displays, bags of various team graded, one touch, vintage sleeves, regular sleeves, premium sleeves, thick sleeves, pages, albums. We've got the um, ball or puck and card holder packages, as well as sorting trays, various magazine top loaders, four by six, five by seven, including sleeves, um, booklet top loaders and such. So this is where we house all of that. And now when you come and you take a right, you will see if some miscellaneous autographed bats. These are some local bats. We acquired these from a collection, wow, probably a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. These are with us since we opened the shop. 
They're kind of priced here, but we got Mike Carp, Jose Lopez, Dustin Ackley, Michael Saunders. Um, those of you that are not Mariner fans probably do not know who they are, but they were fairly prominent players locally for a period of time. We also have these Griffey the Bat signature bats. This was a thing that Griffey did in the early 90s, 94 actually. And so we acquired a case of these. Um, and so we offer them for sale. Five bucks. They're actually kind of neat. There's a stand that'll hold the bat and the card up. It's kind of a nice interactive kind of thing. So, and then when you come back here, as you look, it says the sign says, come on back. The area is open to the public. So we encourage everybody to come back this way. The only places you're not allowed to go is when you see the, the yellow chain up and we have one for each side. Um, so once you see that up, you know you can't go into there, but all the way through here is open to the public. We have my daughter's moneymaker here in the candy machine. We have another showcase, as well as our vintage cases. Vintage is a very tough subject for us here at Turf and Dirt. We do not carry a lot of vintage type cards. And so we don't need a huge space to house all of our vintage items. So we have kind of chosen to put them here. Seems to work well. Um, well, you'll see other various autographed items. Um, we have a spinny rack here. It's got turf and dirt swag, various jerseys. We've got starting lineups, um, various years, various sports, miscellaneous clothing, all that kind of stuff. So... Very interesting. And then back here, we've got, a lot of this is kind of personal, just, you know, come take a look kind of stuff. A few things in here are for sale. Um, majority of them are not. They're just a nice display piece. But we have this, um, this is about a four foot, mm -hmm. four foot jewelry case that was converted into sports card memorabilia things. My Evan White collection, if you guys aren't familiar, I'm a huge Evan White fan, so I've got cleat, game used jersey, mini helmet, various cards um, of him. Come back here, you will see our shelving here has game sets, pennants, miscellaneous items. We have our common card section. Um, this is quite popular in the shop. We get, this is heavy with kids and collectors on a budget who are looking for their favorite teams. Everything is sorted by team. We have football, baseball, basketball, and hockey. So when you come in, they're 10 cents a piece, 10 for a dollar. We have an acrylic box that was actually marked. Stacy put these together, but they are marked with $30. There's about 350 common cards that can fit in here which is $35. But if you fill it up, take it to the register, you can get $35 worth of commons for 30 bucks. We have several acrylics available. Um, we implemented it and then COVID shutdown happened so we didn't get a chance to really benefit from it yet. So we'll see what happens. Then we have junk wax kind of overflow here as well as underneath. And then we have Wax packs, junk era wax packs, sorted by sport, year, and card company. And so for people that are looking for wax packs, we can pull those out. We usually sell these for about, what, two for a buck. Um, kind of a popular type of collecting thing. And then, of course, you're going to run into that. Then, of course, as you come through, we're going to take it kind of the, to the heart of turf and dirt here. Good. So when you come back here, this is where all of my Instagram rips take place. This is where, well, 47% of our business gets down at is right here. This table raises and lowers so I can stand or sit as needed. Um, so whenever we do our pack rip, our box rips, um, offering up our, our menus, it is all from this desk here. Right to my right, if I'm facing the desk, 
is our supply section. This is where we house all of Turf and Dirt's supplies. We have hat, we have Funko um, cases, one touches, which are running dangerously low. We have graded bags, team bags, mini helmet, acrylics from Ultra Pro, full size helmet piece back here. Top loaders of varying sizes from regulars all the way up to 260. We have sleeves, soft sleeves, sorting trays available. These just released. Um, but these are top loader one touch sorting trays. We got various screw downs, acrylic boxes, four by six, five by seven. Um, these are always kind of handy ultra pro boxes for graded cards. We have them for top loaders, um, binders, and then our overflow cases of product. We have top loaders, soft sleeves, premium sleeves, 180 point, 55, 130 point, and regular top loaders down below. And then over here, this is where probably the online meet is, right? This is our website and case overflow. Any card that you see on the website is housed right here. It's either in the showcase out on the floor or it is sorted and put back here. We sort them all by team. Any card that is worth at least $5 or more are bagged, priced, and eligible for the website. Anything $10 or higher, that creates the criteria for eBay. But eBay, we're a little more selective in what we list. Website cards, any card that's $5 or higher goes on. eBay is a little bit more selective. We have our white box overflow. So all the white boxes you saw in the showcases, we refill those from these boxes here. And they are sorted by football, baseball, basketball, vintage, non-sports, Star Wars, you name it. So um, this is kind of my, I have my own little toy collection. I enjoy Star Wars, as you see, is my guilty pleasure. Um, Ghostbuster figures, I really got into some Star Trek stuff. So um, this is kind of my collection here. This is where I do all of my eBay website are you pointing at something? Mm -hmm. oh. This is where I do all my eBay and website postings. Stacy will edit um, the podcast from here. Um, as you see, I got stacks and stacks of cards. I still have the list. This is our light box that we use to take pictures for eBay and the website and various um, Instagram advertisements too, right? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, printer or menus that you see a picture of. We print off about five to begin the week, um, as releases happen, we'll kind of add it at the beginning of the week if we know the product is gonna release that week. And then Stacy will take a picture and send it. This is our shipping station here. So this is our shipping computer. When we bought the new Mac, because we needed to do the have the software writing for the podcast, we converted my old computer just strictly to shipping and miscellaneous, because it plugs into the Dymos very well. And it's very easy to use, so. Um, and then this is also Stacy's work area, um, her personal collection of Gardner Minshew stuff. She's got all that plus from our last Spectre box, plus all of her miscellaneous wazoo stuff. Over here is where we house everybody's Instagram rips. They are all kept here. So what happens is when I do them and I get done, I hand them off to Stacy. Stacy will label them and put them here. And then I use this for Monday when I prep these. This is where I pull them from. So this is where all your guys' stuff that we ship to you on a weekly basis, where it comes from. Right here we have compliments of boxes. When you guys don't want your vet base shipped off, we have two avenues of getting rid of them we put together complimentary boxes for kids that come into the shop so when a nine-year-old walks in you know we won't know what sport we'll just grab them a box hand it to them they're usually pretty stoked because it's free cards and then of course card seller 1122 does a lot of children's hospital packs and so we try to keep him supplied with cards so he could put packs together 
I will be putting another uh, medium flat rate box together for him tomorrow. Um, we're getting into the holiday shopping and you know season. Unfortunately for us that get to enjoy our lives, the kid, you know, there seems to be an influx of kids that are in the hospital and they don't get a chance to enjoy the holiday as much as we get to. So we want to make sure that we do everything we can to make their holiday a little bit brighter. So that is why we ship out a lot of stuff to him. This is release calendar. This is where we try to write down and keep track of everything releasing this month. Um, when we get a release done, we will erase it. So we have yet to receive Leaf Joe Montana. That should be on Tuesday. Um, this is what is releasing on Wednesday. And so what usually happens is we pay for it on Monday and it arrives on Tuesday and we release it on Wednesday. Um, this week will be top Star Wars Mandalorian. We got Prism Draft Picks Choice, which is a basketball product. We have National Treasures Baseball. We have a special order of UFC Signature Series, but that's going to a customer specifically. And then we have Dynasty Baseball and clearly Don Russ Basketball, which is a 1920 product. That is Wednesday's release. And then, of course, Friday, we look and we see Trism, Prism Draft Picks Hobby Basketball, Jumbo and Hobby Update Tops. Finally, that's coming. Um, and then we have a Leaf Mini Helmet product that is releasing on Friday that we are receiving a couple in. So we keep track of all of our releases here. Here is a wall with various Star Wars items and miscellaneous things for sale. We do have custom braking mats. They are branded turf and dirt um, of various. We have black, some football field looking ones with different logos and things. So... And then as you get to the front, this is where we sell all of our wax packs, boxes. You know, this is the, the meat of the shop right here. So whenever you guys request packs or boxes, if you're on Instagram, we pull them from here, take them to the rip table, and that's where, as they say in Hollywood, the magic happens. So all of our white boxes that we have for sale, varying sizes, we have up here with the prices of them. We carry everything from 100 count up to 930 for the single row. We have a two-piece graded storage box. And then we have a two-row, three-row shoe, 3,200 count, and a 5,000 count we affectionately call a monster box. And then up above, we've transitioned to jerseys up above. And you're probably wondering, how did you do that? Well, this place was a postal store when we moved into it. And so there was a heavy iron fence or gate that they would lock and it locked the register off from people walking in to check their mail at all hours of the night. So when they removed the fence, they obviously left that, but it's steel. And so we use some magnet hooks to put up there to hang the jerseys from. So in a nutshell, guys, that is a walkthrough of Turf and Dirt Sports Cards.